Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Atho. I have done evening voice medicine and today we will discuss about rifle and smoothbore firearms. Coming to rifle weapons, in these weapons, the bore which is a barrel is scored internally. So in this, there are groups which are present. Usually they have 22, 22 to 29 number in few. Commonly there are 16 number which are runs parallelly to each other, twisted spirally from breech to muscle end. So from breech to muscle end, the internal of the of the barrel is grooved. These groups are called as rifling and projecting ridges between these groups are called as lands. So this is a cross section of the barrel in which this is the rifling part and this rifle part this is called as land. So this is called as rifling. Rifling may, may vary in number, direction, depth or width. Rifle, rifles, pistols, revolvers, sub machine guns, machine guns all have Rifle barrels. Direction of rifling may be at the right side, which is clockwise or left side, counterclockwise. Majority of handguns have right hand twist of rifling. So this is cross section of a handgun. We can we can see the rifling. When bullet passes through this uh, through the bore of rifle weapons, its surface comes in contact with the projecting spirals, which gives the bullet a rotational spinning or spiraling motion along its long extension. So when bullet passes through barrel of rifle weapon, it gives a spin and the, the because of that the, the bullet spins along its long axis. Rifling gives bullet a signature marking that is unique to a weapon that is fired it. So not only it gives a spin but also gives a signature marking on the bullet which can be useful for identifying the fired handgun. Helixometer is a is an instrument which is used to measure examine the interior of a barrel. Advantage of rifling are it imparts a gyroscopic stability. So it has the bullet fires and as it goes along its long axis in a spinning motion, it gives a gyroscopic effect. Because of this, it goes in a very straight line. So it because it is spinning in a long axis, it gives a gyroscopic effect and it goes in a straight line, which increases the accuracy and range. It also prevents wobbling or troubling from end to end. As a result of that, it gives a greater power of maintenance. Because of that, rifle weapons have greater accuracy as well as distance. They can also travel longer distance. Rifle weapons may be divided into based on how much the uh, based on how, how what is the velocity of the bullets. They are low velocity, which has 3 to 360 meters per second, medium velocity 360 to 750. High velocity which have more than 900 meters per second of when the bullet is fired. Those are called high velocity rifle weapons. In rifle weapons, they are they have rifles which have long barrels in which maybe they are air or gas operated, point to rifles, military or sporting rifles, shingle shot, target practice pistols, revolvers, automatic pistols, two automatic weapons like machine guns, all, all types of rifle weapons. Rifle guns, which are long barreled guns, they are these are long barreled with rifling. They may be self-loading or automatic. They have range up to 1000 meters. Bullet rotates about 3000 revolves, revolves per second and may be single shot, repeating semi automatic for automatic weapon, maybe automatic also. Revolvers are short handguns. This in these cartridges are put in a chamber which revolves or rotates before each chamber shot. So this is a revolver and this is a chamber revolving chamber which revolves and cartridge uh, is placed on the firing pin it can operate to five to six cartridges the velocity muscle velocity is uh, it is 150 to 180 meters per second as it is a low velocity weapon effective range is very less about 100 meters automatic pistols in this cartridge is loaded directly into the chamber of the barrel and on firing of the empty on firing the empty cartridge case falls off on the ground and new cartridges slips in automatically. So in automatic, uh, automatic weapons, you need not change every cartridge. So once the cartridge becomes empty, it comes out of the barrel and new cartridge is loaded into the chamber. Maximum of automatic weapons can accommodate up to 6 to 8 bullets. They are semi-automatic as well as self-loading. Muscle velocity is higher, 300 to 360 meters and range is 100 meters. Air rifles or air pistols are special kind of firearms in which compressed air or liquid carbon dioxide is used as a propellant. These have a low range of 40 meters. 
death may occur if it involves brain or heart. Now coming to smooth bore firearms, also shotguns. In them, the bore or inner surface of a barrel is uniformly smooth. So in rifle, there is rifling. In smooth bore, there is no rifling. It is intended to fire from a shoulder and is designed to fire multiple pellets from the barrel. So in rifle firearm, only single bullet comes out. But in shotguns, there are multiple pellets are placed in the cartridge. And these cartridges comes out of the uh, cartridge and is intended to fire multiple cartridges. Barrel length of shotgun may range from 18 to 26, 36 inches and effective, they are effective up to 30 to 35 meters only. So this, since the multiple pellets, they have very low range of effectiveness compared to rifle weapons. Smoothbore weapons can be classified depending on length of barrel, it may be short barrel shotguns or long barrel shotguns. Depending on the number of barrels, they may be single barrel shotgun or double barrel shotgun. Depending on loading, it may be muzzle loading where it is loaded from the front or breech loading from the back of the barrel. Depending on choking, it may be cylinder bore or choke bore. We will talk about cylinder bore and choke bore. Cylinder bore are weapons where entire barrel of from breech to muzzle is of same diameter. So in this, the barrel is of same diameter from breech to muscle end. These are called as cylinder bore weapons. Uh, apart from that, there is a choke bore or choking. So it is a mechanical narrowing of a, or constriction device. So in this, the barrel is not uniformly diameter. There is no uniform diameter. There is a narrowing at the end of the uh, air end, at the muscle end, which can control the dispersion of the pellets. So this is done to reduce the dispersion of the pellets. As I mentioned, in shotguns, pellets are used. So to prevent uh, dispersion, this choking is done. So there are different uh, choking based on how much constriction is done. So it varies depending on the fraction of an inch. So full choke shotgun is, in this the constriction is about 40 thousandths of the inch. Three fourth choke is about 30 thousandths of the inch. Half choke shotguns are 20 thousandths of the inch. And one fourth choke guns are 10 thousandths of an inch of constriction is done in the barrel. Advantage of choking of a shotgun is it enables the lead pellets or shots to remain together for long distance and reach the target more uh, in range increases in range increases the range. It reduces the spread area of pellets on the target aimed. It makes the bulletin weapon more lethal. Paradox guns are apart from rifle and smoothbore. These are these are usually just short guns which have a small portion of their bore near the muscle end is rifled. So these are shotguns, but at the muscle end, there is a rifling is done. So these are called as paradox guns since it is not a smooth bore, but also has a rifling in them. This is a diagrammatic representation how the shotgun weapons operate. It is similar to rifle weapon. So when the firing pin hits the primer, uh, it causes ignition in the gun powder and as the gun powder is ignited, the gases push the wad which is present in the cartridge and pulls and all the pellets, these are the lead pellets, comes out of the barrel of the shotgun and it is dispersed and hits the target. Now coming to caliber or gauge or bore. So caliber is a way of, it is a diameter of a barrel. So caliber is an internal dimension of the barrel of a gun measured in decimals of an inch or millimeter. So it is a way of measuring the internal diameter of a barrel. So in rifle firearm, it is, it is measured between the diagonally opposite lines. So we have seen the cross section. So the groups are present and there are lines are seen. So diagonally opposite lines are used to measure the diameter in rifle weapons. For example, 0 0.22, 0 0.32 inch, 0 0.38 inch. So these are weapons, rifle weapons are named uh, under the, the dimension. It represents the diameter of the barrel before rifling groups are cut. For smoothbore weapon, this method, method is not used. For smoothbore weapon, the di di size is determined by size of the lead ball, which is exactly fit the barrel and the number of such balls of equal size and weight that can be made from 454 grams or one part of pure lead. So to understand that, first they take, uh, it can be simplified that one pound of lead is used and they make lead balls of the, those. 
and those lead balls of equal size and diameter which fits the barrel correctly that is the that is how they used the number of balls which can be made from that is used to measure the caliber of the smooth board for example if we call it is a 12 bore shotgun that means that 12 balls of 12 balls of lead can be made of equal size and diameter from one pound of lead so if we take one pound of lead then 12 balls of that balls can be made of equal size and diameter from that one pound which fits the diameter which fits the barrel of that shotgun correctly so if it is narrow shotgun then more balls will fit like uh, uh, say 12, 6 12 18 uh, if the diameter is large then only few lead balls will fit like 4 bore 5 bore or 6 bore like those so based on how much the diameter is there the dam the lead balls will also increase or decrease that's how the diameter of the smoothbore weapon is measured these are my references thank you